I'm Trish with today's QOTD question of the day. If you could live in any fictional universe, what would it be? You can live among hobbits or horsemen or aliens or arch rivals, want to live out in space or under the sea. Choose one amazing fictional land to live in and you could be on the show. Just like our first featured fan, this is Paul N. Oh, definitely The Simpsons. I use so many smiley face emojis now that I already feel like a yellow person. I love The Simpsons. <laughs> I think it would be a great fictional universe to live in. It's such a funny idea. It's like, it's not what you're initially thinking of when it's like, oh, which fantasy universe would you like to live in? But why not live in Springfield someplace? Yeah. Springfield, New Jersey. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Yes, we have our own personal Simpsons universe right here on planet Earth. So why would we need to go there anyway? Maybe for the maybe for the delicious donuts. Mmm, mm, donuts. Right. Well, what fan answer did you choose, JJ? Yes. So I had a great answer from Sarah, and I think one she has two options, and I think they're both they're both pretty good in their own unique ways. I really wanted to be in the Game of Thrones universe. Um, until I realized how fast I would die. So probably the Marvel universe. I'd love to be saved by Iron Man. Yeah, I think the Game of Thrones universe, it's, it's definitely tough because unless you're literally like Jon Snow, your time on that un in that universe is very limited. Um, and also who wouldn't want to be saved by Iron Man oh. or any of those superheroes? I mean, <laughs> Yeah, I'm a Captain America girly, so. Yes. Oh. Not but me. Well, I wouldn't say that that's the case there in, in Game of Thrones land. It's a very treacherous place. If there is a movie that even Sean Bean can't survive, then you know it's got to be really dangerous. Mm -hmm. And we all know that Sean Bean survives in every movie he's made. Exactly. <laughs> well, Keith, do you have a favorite answer that you found? I do. My favorite answer is from Hedgehog, and you're going to love it. Fictional universe, without a doubt, Star Wars. I mean, bro, if I could get my hands on a lightsaber, let alone like channel the force, I mean, test my blood, do my metachlorines like skyrocket? I'm all in a, I'm all in on the Star Wars deal. That just sounds like it would be fantastic. Use the force. <laughs> it's just so fun. I mean, Star Wars is such a really great place. It's got magic. It's got romance. It's got spaceships. It's got speeders. It's got like perfect little talking friends. It's really awesome. But then he had to go and ruin it by mentioning metachlorines. If I could make one thing go away from that amazing story, it would be the metachlorines. I would take them out using the force. Practically ruin the whole thing. But but Hedgehog, I'm totally with you. It would be great to like be a Jedi Knight and enjoy Star Wars. Mm, so the metachlorines were not the plot elements you're looking for. How about you, Trish? You must love Star Wars. Well, <laughs> I just started to say, I don't have anything to add to this conversation. What does a lightsaber do though? This is an actual question. Does it, cause I'm imagining it makes people just like dissipate or, or. No, it, it, it's, it, it's a sword. That's it. Uh, it's, it's just a sword, but it glows, which makes it a thousand times better. Yeah. Okay. yeah. And it's also very hot. So if you want to like make some toast, you can just sort of do that. It makes this great noise. Yeah. I'm all about the woo <laughs> oh, uh, How about you, Reed? You got a favorite? I do. I have an answer from Maddie S. that I thought we should take a look at. If I could be in a fictional universe, I would be in, like, the Lord of the Rings universe. And I would totally be an elf because... The elves are like the coolest and they're always also like the prettiest. Ooh, or it'd be like an Amazonian woman from uh, Wonder Woman. Ugh. I get that. It's like no matter what universe I'm in, I just want to be a hot girl. The elves are, are super pretty and they have magical powers and, you know, they have pointy ears and all that sort of stuff. But they're also like kick-ass fighters if you've ever seen the movie. So they have everything, much like the Amazonians uh, from Wonder Woman. Yeah, I'm sensing a common theme here. I think Maddie just wants to be tall. As we all do, it's human nature to want to be just a little bit taller. Six foot, it evades me to this day. A little bit taller, a little more kick-ass in our staff. I like and it. a glowing sword. Yes. yes. <laughs> 
Well, I think we have some really great fan answers here. Some really awesome fictional universes I would also love to explore. If you have one that you want to share with us, you can record your video answer using the links in our description. But for now, I think it's time we get into our own answers to this question. Keith, what are you thinking? It's super simple. I'm with Maddie. Lord of the Rings would be the best place to be. I mean, it's just such a wonderful universe. And yeah, I don't, an elf would be fun. They live forever. They've got magical powers, but you know, maybe dwarf, they're, they're pretty hot too. Or maybe hobbits just like hanging out and smoking pipe weed and taking care of your farm and drinking beers down at the Green Dragon. It would just be so great. It really has it all. I am Lord of the Rings all the way. Mm. Well, I'm with you on the eating and then drinking and the smoking thing, but uh, <laughs> I'm going to do it in Wonderland. I'm going to meet Alice. We're going to drink tea. We're going to trip out and it's going to be just amazing. Tea mm. cake. Well, you can light up with the Cheshire cat. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know that stuff was good too, though, because she was seeing floating cat heads. <laughs> oh, off her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to take it back to the childhood days. I would love to live in the Sesame Street universe. Not a lot of conflict or anything like that. Just some friendship and songs and puppets. I mean, who doesn't love that? I love that. Somebody ruined Sesame Street for me a while back. Like, my ex-husband used to call me Count Drinkula, and he used to go, that's me. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not Count <laughs> Drinkula. <laughs> oh, <fun. laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, I... <laughs> I'm going for Stranger Things because uh, I think it's, I well, it didn't grow up in the 80s, but I think it'd be fun to kind of go back to that imagined side of the 80s. Although I don't, I don't know if I want to be around for the later seasons because they sort of jumped the shark there. Yeah. But the, the soundtrack, oh my gosh, that'd be weird. Oh, can't beat it. <laughs> Count Dracula. <laughs> <laughs> you said it, Count Trinkula. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. No more bullying, Trish. We have to be nice. <laughs> if there's one thing we should have learned from Sesame Street, it's to be kind. <laughs> right? Uh, well, if you want to submit your own fictional universes, or if you have thoughts on our answers, you can record your answer to today's question or any of this week's other questions by using the links in our description. And make sure to subscribe to our channel so you can get notified about new daily questions. Thanks, everyone, for joining us. And a special thank you to our subscribers and to everyone who's watched, voted, and recorded so far this week. Remember, the top voted answers make it on the air on our Thursday Big Show. So make sure that you record and vote at beyondtheair.com for your chance to join us. And you can also play our amazing Guess and Big Game. And if you love our QOTDs or our amazing fan answers, one way that you can show your appreciation is by liking us or commenting in our chat or even subscribing. Or you can click the thanks button. And if you do, we'll say thank you on the air. Yes, we will love you very much for it. We are QOTD and be on the air signing off and we'll see you on TV. Hi, everyone. The 80s were a magical fictional world. Yes. <laughs> with portals to other dimensions. And Demogorgon. <laughs> <laughs>